There are many perspectives and opinions on CV and many do not invest in creating a compelling one and end up not getting interviews, let alone a job offer. The process of job searching is undeniably competitive and you need great resume to get both recruiters and hiring managers attention. It is a short but important document that gives you a chance to show prospective employers the best of what you've got. My name is Dima Yani Ma'an. I'm a career strategist, talent acquisition head, and a hiring manager. I'm an ex-Booking.com regional talent leader, LinkedIn alum, and I come with a proven track record as a commerce recruitment division head. I spent the last 15 years reviewing countless of CV, LinkedIn profiles, spoken to many candidates, hiring managers, and top executives, and helping people land jobs at both big and small companies across the globe. In this video, I'll be using a real-life example CV which belongs to one of my candidates so that you will be truly guided on how to write a great and credible CV. So keep watching to the end. Depending on which region you come from, the role you are in, the level you are at, it should range from one to three pages maximum. For example, in the North America, one page CV is what hiring managers and recruiters are used to. However, in the rest of the world like Asia, Europe, Middle East and Africa, comprehensive two to three page CV is the standard practice. A comprehensive CV is not enough if it's not impactful. Impactful CV gives you 70% higher chance of getting calls. Depending on how you perform for your first call, it will then lead you to interviews. Before I bring you to my screen and show you the real life CV, for confidentiality's sake, I have blurred out my candidate's name, but we are going to name my candidate Sandy. Sandy has over 20 years of experience working in Fortune 500 companies ranging from leading consumer healthcare, fast-moving consumer goods and pharmaceutical companies as a marketing and branding head. She is an experienced people manager and she has won multiple awards in her career. To give you some context, here are some information about Sandy's situation. Sandy has been on the lookout for over two years. She is getting too comfortable in her role. At the same time, it is quite important for her to find something else as the company is going through massive restructuring. Sandy has been diligently applying, but she has been getting zero response. The only call she received was from a specialist headhunter and she didn't hear back from him after their first call. She would like to explore jobs in other sectors instead of only the ones she is familiar with. Before I show you Sandy's CV, let me give you an information that you might not be aware of. I spent around half a minute scanning through Sandy's CV because I am coaching her. But in reality, recruiters and hiring managers spend less than 15 seconds to scan through your profile before he or she decide to shortlist you for an introduction call. Now, here is her CV and here is my feedback. One thing I immediately noticed is that she used an old version of LinkedIn profile as her CV. This could also mean her LinkedIn profile could look as plain as her current CV. The second feedback that I have for her is her format of the CV. For someone of her experience, her CV is very plain. She is not maximizing her first 10 to 15 lines, which is where most decision is being made on whether to skip or to continue reading your profile. As you can see here, Sandy include her LinkedIn URL link and also her email address, but there is no mobile number for anyone to contact her. The next point that I would like to point out is her summary. It is very generic and it doesn't look like she has 20 years of experience from the way her CV is being written. Remember earlier during the introduction of her profile, she is a branding and marketing head. However, one look at her CV, I had the impression that she is in medical and regulatory affairs function instead of marketing, branding or product management. 
because of this job title she uses on her CV and LinkedIn profile, she has not been getting any response to the role she has applied for, which she has expertise in. And I'm not surprised that she got a call from a specialist medical headhunter and was approached for a medical role which is irrelevant for her. Another thing to note here, Sandy has great tenure and has worked for many well-known brands, but the content on her CV is not enough. It is not impact-focused, there is no track record apart from only the regional exposure she had listed and that too isn't enough. So, in short, Sandy is not doing herself any justice. On the same call with Sandy, I've asked her several questions to understand better. We touch on topics covering on stakeholder management, leadership style, her team management experience, her customers, the regional exposures that she has garnered, and challenges and how she overcome those challenges. We also cover on past projects and achievements, both big and small. And I ask her questions like, what were they? How did she achieve those? What was the outcome? And I've also asked Sandy to quantify those outcomes through the introduction during the call because this is a test to see how she articulate her summary and experience. Because this matters a lot, guys. If you have great written CV, but you do not articulate or do not put enough effort to practice for your introduction call, you will blow all the chances of getting interviews. Now I'm going to share with you her very first mock-up CV, which I have written for her with all the inputs she has managed to share with me and I will explain to you the reasons for each of these changes. So remember what I shared earlier. The first 10 to 15 lines of your CV is the most important part because that's where most decisions are being made. If you have a clear and concise summary, the chances of recruiter or hiring managers scrolling down your CV further will be higher and that will lead to your CV being shortlisted. In this summary, you can see that I have included the following points. Number one, how many years of experience Sandy has? Number two, what type of companies she has worked for, big and small companies. Number three, the company brands that she has worked for because this is going to catch the recruiter and hiring manager's attention. Number four, the global, regional, country experience she has garnered in her entire career. Last but not least, I've also included the most proud achievement that is directed a portfolio size revenue of 500 million euros and turn it into 5 billion euros. Notice one thing here. I did not explain the details any further in this summary because I want the recruiter and hiring manager to be curious about it and scroll down her CV further. All of these pointers were not on her previous CV and her LinkedIn profile. And this is what I meant by impactful CV and quantifying those impacts. These pointers will determine the interest of your audience and all of this red underline. These are all important information because hiring managers and recruiters care a lot about this information. By the way, these are not buzzwords or keywords to get shortlisted or noticed on ETS. These are all your experience, credentials, track record, and rest assured, beside all the ATS functionalities, someone is actually reviewing your CV and deciding if you are a good fit. Next, when we look at her most recent employment, you notice here what I did was to club all of her eight years of experience in this company into one because it's much more cleaner and readable. And in blue highlighted here, I focus on the projects that she has managed and again, quantify her achievements using dollars, numbers and percentages. This is important because if you are going to practice for your interview, you need to be able to articulate your past successes. And the reason why I included this as one of the bullet points because the tendency for candidates to practice for their interview using their CV is very high. Of course, the way I put it here is a bullet point. This is to guide and refresh your memory. I expect you not to repeat word for word from your CV but to elaborate on those bullet points. 
And as you can see here in green, I highlighted the fact that it was because of her contribution, her leadership, that she has helped this company to become the first nutritional company to engage with healthcare experts in four different markets. Again, I expect Sandy to practice her pitch on how she managed to do that. I could have included all of those details here, but my advice is not to exceed more than two to three lines in each bullet point. You need to balance information and content on your CV and keep some of those information to practice for your interview. You cannot be precious about it on your CV because again, the tendency to refer to your CV for you to practice for your interview is very, very high. I do not want you to sound robotic repeating every word from your CV. The recruiters or hiring managers might as well read your CV and not have a call with you. Last but not least, you can also see some of the other numbers and achievements I have included here on Sandy CV and you can do the same thing too. Well, I hope you find this video guide useful. This is my style of CV writing and this same style have helped many candidates land jobs. I hope after this, you will have a look at your CV and start by asking yourself the same question I asked Cindy to uncover what makes you special from your peers. For convenience, I will repeat all those information again. Number one, past and current projects. What is your involvement? What is the outcome? Big or small, it doesn't matter. List them down first and dissect the information later. Don't be shy about it. Number two, your wins. Past achievements. Use impactful words like you have led the team, transform, contributed XX amount of time, involved in XX project, drove XX, managed to save XX dollars or percentage. Number three, what is your experience with stakeholders and who are the people that you have worked with and what is your team management experience like? Number four, what is your local, regional and global experiences? Who are your business partners? In what context are you working them with and what have you done for them? Number five, list down all the challenges that you have faced and how you overcome those challenges. Some other advice that I have for you, especially for those who just about to start your job search and still figuring out on what and how. Build a modular CV and tailor meet your applications. Stay relevant to the experience you have garnered in your career and again, ask all those questions I have shared earlier. Next, do not forget to consider what's important for the hiring manager and what you can bring to the table. Also, you don't want to be putting job descriptions kind of information on your CV or information that is not valuable. For example, volunteer for Christmas party for your team. Let me be honest, recruiters don't care about that. At least I don't care about things like that. And finally, do not use internal jargons. Like in Sandy's case, she used and repeated a lot of Viva in her previous CV, but also on our first call. What is Viva? Viva is a system widely used in healthcare sectors. People would not know what is Viva, but people might know what is SAP and Oracle. So be aware of that. So if Sandy is applying for a role in Apple, do you think the hiring manager or recruiter knows? No. Similarly, if you use a lot of acronyms on your CV like BAU, TLDR, NBD, LOL, whatever acronyms your company use, do not assume that the prospective employers use the same. Again, I hope you find this video guide useful. Unfortunately, this is a condensed version. If you need more help, feel free to reach out to me directly on careercare.dimayanimaart.com. Please do not forget to like, leave a comment if you have any questions. Don't be shy. All of us is in the same situation. Share this video with all your friends, family members who is starting their job search and do subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. My next video is going to be either LinkedIn profile or another CV case study so you can have more ideas on how to make every word on your CV count. My name is Dima Yanima Art and I will see you again. Bye.